We all know engines have a lot of moving parts, but what if the engine itself is actually the moving part? This video is going to be about rotary engines, but not the Wankel engines. These are actually spinning engines. I'm with your racer and let's talk about it. First one being Megola bike and it was a front-wheel drive bike that had an engine mounted inside the front wheel, geared 6 to 1 to the front wheel. There was a gearbox, but there was no clutch, so the engine had to be stopped when you come to a full stop of the bike. It was air-cooled with side valve and twin tanks, one for the fuel and one for the oil, because it was a total loss oiling system. Adam's Farwell was one of the first, if not the first, vehicle to be powered by a rotary engine. First it was a 3 cylinder engine, but later they upgraded to 5 cylinders. Initially it was mounted in the front, but later they moved the engine to the back for practicality. They kept producing these 3 and 5 cylinder engines up until 1912 with up to 50 horsepower, but this one is the single one a living example today. A company called Nome has very favorite rotary engines, they are called Lerons, and it was a 9C and a 9J engines, one smaller and the one 15 liter, 32% more powerful. There were single row 9 cylinder air cooled engines with push rod operated valves and copper intake pipes. It also used a total loss oiling system and were produced under license in Britain, Sweden and Germany. Please consider subscribing if you are enjoying this content and also to Viziracer vlogs if you want to see something behind the Viziracer channel. Uber Russell UR2 was a German engine licensed from France, but when the World War I began, they actually copied their engines, the 7, 9 and even 14 cylinder engines. It has to be acknowledged that their engines were the most powerful and they even had a 200 horsepower 18 cylinder engine with 33 liters of engine volume. This company was later sold to Rolls-Royce Deutschland in 1990. Clairgate was another French company that actually built rotary engines. There were 7, 9, 11 cylinder single row or twin row up to 14 cylinder engines also fed by diesel. Naturally, they were air cooled with aluminum pistons and tubular connecting rods. The 9B had a larger long stroke version with 17.5 liter and the engine itself cost at the time 905 pounds, 110,000 pounds in today's money. In 
inspired by Clergate, Bentley came with these engines as well. First it was the BR1, but later they upgraded and enlarged the engine to BR2. The BR2 was the last rotary engine to be ordered by Royal Air Force. Later they were only interested in the radial engines. Last one on this list is Nome Omega, a smaller brother to the Leron, and it was a 7 cylinder engine with 7.8 liters of engine volume. Interestingly, it was a single row engine with 50 horsepower, and it had a sibling, a twin row 14 cylinder engine with double the power. Interestingly, there was an automatic pressure driven inlet valve in the pistons. It was the first rotary engine to be built in large scale. They actually built 4000s of them in France and Great Britain. I really hope you learned something new today. Tell me in the comment section what you like and what you would like to see in the next videos. And stay cool. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Cheers! Mm -hmm.